Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Just before we start, I want to say that my hip is on the mend. Gym's been going well, rehab's been going well, and I'm almost able to jog. Now that seems like, a, that seems like nothing, but I haven't been able to jog for the last two and a half months. It's been killing me. So yeah, I'm nearly there. But anyway, today's video, FIFA 18 rating. That's right, they've been released by EA, and we're gonna look through the top 100 and react to them. I'm looking forward to this. There's a few players I'm intrigued by. Mate, I can't wait to see what stats, who's got what, when they got it, and why they got it. So first up, number 100, is the luckiest man in the building. He's scraped in by the skin of his teeth. It's Bernardo Silva. That's right, he's just squeezing the top 100 and he's happy to be there. He's happy. <laughs> he's the most relieved man in the building. Mate, he feels like he's made it. <laughs> but inside he thinks he should be around a 70 mark. But FIFA are like, no. Know your place, fella. 99, Sammy Kadira. 98, Sadio Mane. Danny Alves, only 97. He's, get, he's getting on a little bit, though. First controversial one for me. Straight is it, away. Is it, is it because the career is not going on the up? Yeah, but don't is they, it, or is it? I don't, know. don't they base it on their last season? In which case, he was phenomenal. Asenso, Balcao's got in the top 100. Yeah, had a good season, though. Oh! <laughs> nah. Deli Alley? He should be way up there. I'm talking about in the 40s, at least. At least? He, he's one of the best midfielders in the Prem, comfortably, which means he's one of the best in the world. How can he be 93 on FIFA? That don't make sense to me. Leno. It's kind of these, you expect these level players in this, in this category. They've made it in, they're, they're decent players. Rand might have something to say about being 87. Hmm. Well, uh, playing for the best club in the world. Yeah, yeah, true. Just won the Champions League. Yeah, true. To start. True. Hang on a minute. Glick is higher rated than Varane. Glick! Barzagli. Vincent Company. I mean, he's in good company with that list, but for me, who would you rather play for you? Vincent Company or Deli Alley right now? Mm. I know totally diff two different positions. Actually, I don't know. Vincent Company is a pretty decent defender if he can stay fit. He's decent. Mkhitaryan, he probably deserves to be top 100. Carrasco. Terstep. Now, again, 81. Now, he'll be looking at the David De Gea's, the Courtois of this world, and thinking, why am I so far behind him? And why has he got speed of 38? He's faster than that, surely. He must be. He's actually a good outfield player. I oh, know, yeah, he's got techers. So that's 100 to 81. Now let's move on to 80 to 61. Thomas made it in. He's a decent player, but I just, I can't work, like, I mean, I'm confused with this because I don't, I honestly don't think it goes by their abilities, their overall, which don't really stand for anything. Yeah, there is no way the Tongan, I know I keep coming back to Varane, but there's no way he's better than Varane. No, I think, uh, do you know what, I just think that if it's, I think if you're a good all-rounder, you, you, you're going up in the world. Di Maria. That's about right, really. Yeah. yeah. He, I, I feel a bit disappointed in Di Maria. I feel like he, at one stage, he could have cracked on and been one of the best in the world. And, and he does show signs every now and then where he comes up with a weldy. Yeah. There was this time at Real Madrid where it was him and him and Ronnie. Philip Luiz. Asper Lequeta looks happy to be there. Mate, he's never smiled so much in his whole 76 life. <laughs> <laughs> 76. Alba. He he would probably expect to be a bit higher than 74th in the world, but I don't know if he had the best season last season. Mm. Casemiro. Has he got there off the back of his Champions League final goal? Yeah, I don't know. He's, yeah. He had a decent season to be fair to him, didn't he? I don't think you'd like playing against him, put it that way. Yeah. No, if you right. play against him, you'd be like, no, I'm not to I think he deserves it. Alexandra Lacazette. Lacazette, now, the jury's still out on him a little bit for me. I know that he's quite popular, but until he's had a good full season at Arsenal, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make a judgment on him. Yeah, he's kind of showed elements of, of, of being amazing, mm. but it's too early to tell. Okay, let's keep going. Pepe, Pepe is always gonna be somewhere in this list, thereabouts. Probably about right. Alaba. I think he's dropped down. Do you? Yeah. I'm pretty sure last season, correct me if I'm wrong, he was quite a bit higher in this list. Petr Cech, 66. 
probably fair, I'd say. You'd say that's fair. Mm. Martinez, we played against him. Top guy. Top guy, nice geezer. Marco. Diego Costa. Mate, it's What's always... happening with him, by the way? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think because he's such a personality, he can clash with Gaffer sometimes. Mm. Ribéry, See, do you remember when he was like ranked up top 10? Yeah, yeah. Every yeah. list, yeah. top 10, top 10. Okay, so that's 80 to 61. Let's go 60 to 41. Let's have a look. David Luiz, straight up. Straight up. Again, some players just look delighted, don't they? He looks so happy. Do you know what? All of these players definitely check all their stats as soon as they come out. 100%. Oh, and some of them get the ump about the stats as well, you know that. Well, it looks like Busquets might be one of them. Got the ump there. Well, yeah. What he plays? Rodriguez. Mate, the, the standard is high now. Every player here is a total baller. Yeah. Benzema. I guess. Mm. That's yeah, like, would you? Hmm. Isco. Now, Isco, he is so popular. I know he is, yeah. Um, I think a lot of people would say he should be higher than 54. Point. People love him, especially at Madrid. They think he's one of the best players. I know. I'm not saying that he's not, and he's incredibly skillful, but I need yeah. to see a bit more of him, really, because, um, in my opinion, Luka Modric, Ronaldo, yeah, much, much better players than Isco. Isco's not their best player. I agree. Let us know in the comment section below, guys. What do you think? Oh, your boy Harry Kane's coming in at number 53. Mate, he's a world-class striker. He should be more than that. I think it's not. I agree, actually agree with you. I don't think that's fair on him. He was the Prem's top scorer. I'd like to see where Aguero's coming up because in the goals, Kane was above him. In that the lists. Is, that's what I mean. It don't go. He just averages it all out, don't it? Do you know what I mean? Mm, I know what you mean. Alexandro Coutinho, what a baller. 51st, is that fair? What do you guys think? I'm not so sure. Mm. I think he'd be top 40 for me, Lukaku. Now you like Lukaku, don't you? I just think he bang, he bangs goals. He bangs goals. And I think that's what United needed. And that's what he gets paid to do, and he, he does bang goals. He just don't mess about, he just bangs goals. Thomas Muller, 47. Now, uh, this is, I'll be interested to hear what you think about this. Is that fair that Muller is higher rated than Lukaku? Is he a better striker? Be interested to know what you guys think about this as well. Yeah, I don't know. Like, <sighs> I, I don't know either, I'm not sure. So let's keep going. 46, Handanovic, 45, Iniesta. Now this is what I would call the business end of the charts. This is where you start getting into the big boys now. They're gonna be popping up regularly from now on. You've mm. got Iniesta, Rakitic, Silva. I mean, these are these are, these are top, top bowlers, PK. Yeah. Okay, they, they, just, they just all fit in there. Hamsik. Hmm. 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 There's some question marks flowing about. There are a couple. So that was 60 to 41. Let's move on to 40 to 31. First one in this batch is Christian Eriksen. Now, I love Eriksen. I know you, you obviously do a Spurs fan. But, great player. Number 40. Come on. Like, bearing in mind, Deli Alley's number 93. Yeah, when you, when you compare it like that, I don't think that they're... No, that's not, it's not right. It's something not right about that. Mm. I mean, when you say Deli Alley's 93, what number do you think Deli Alley should be? Put in the comment section below. I think in and around the 40 mark here. You see some of the players that are coming now, they're top, top, world-class players, and he deserves to be amongst them. He does. So let's scroll down. Vidal, baller. All-round baller. I've got, I've got no arguments with that. No, straight. Marcelo, stay there, mate. Is he too low, though? Yeah, he's just won the well, Champions League. Yeah, true. He's coming in at number 38. Cavani, baller. Cavani's a baller. Pogba, 36. Uh, wow. That's quite low down for that. That is, ball. I think that's low. Mm. Considering he's an all round baller. Yeah. Can do everything. Well, let's keep an eye out for what midfielders EA have put ahead of Pogba because 36. Seems a bit low. Well, it's Kante straight away, and but he deserves to be there. He deserves to be there. Verratti. The central midfield player. He's like a skilled playmaker. Hmm. I bet Popper's got something to say about Verratti being a I know, I know, I know, yeah, yeah. Boateng, 33. He always does well in FIFA rankings. Hmm. Mesut, coming in at 32. And this section is finished off with Oblak at 31. That was 40 to 31. Now let's take a look at 30 to 21. Coming at number 30. Zlatan is up there. He's up there, but you know in his mind he's number one. Yeah, of course. 29, Aboumiang. 28, your, your boy, Lloris. Yes. 27, Godin. 26, Hummels. Bayern Munich players do well in this list, don't they? 
Yeah, yeah, they do. 25, Thiago Silva. 24, mm. Robin. It makes you think what 24 players are like to come. Yeah. You see these ballers coming out, you think... Bonucci, mate, he's got to be buzzing about that. 23. Think about the players that he's coming in ahead of. Uh, to be honest, I ain't seen much of him, so I can't really comment on it, but... Mm. Yeah, he's, he's there for a reason. He must be a baller. Thiago, another Bayern player. He's a baller. I've got no arguments with him being a 22. No. Dybala. This guy's a serious baller. He's got a serious card. That's something we haven't really touched on. The, the facials. These are the first the first bits of imagery. Mate, yeah. That are coming out. You want to make sure you look fresh on there, bro. He looks like he's a serious geezer. Yeah, yeah, he's taking it serious. Yeah. So that was 30 to 21. Let's look at 20 to 11. Now this is getting proper serious now. These are the best of the best. Right, let's have a look. 20, Griezmann. 19, Courtois. 18, Aguero. Now again, we mentioned Harry Kane being I think, number 53, was it? I can't work that out. At the moment. Yeah, I can't. I think you can't put Kane around the 50s and Aguero at 18, I think. When he scored more goals than him in the Prem. Yeah, judging on current form. You know, you're not looking at history, you're not looking at you're looking at current form as well. And he, he's proved it for two, three seasons now, Kane. He has. Do you know what? We cannot wait for this comment section because we know some of you are going to get in some heated debates about this stuff. Aguero or Kane, that's another one. <laughs> yeah. Just do it. Just get involved. 17. Gotta fail. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do Yeah. Um, He's taller than six foot, isn't he? I think so. 16. Chiellini. No arguments there. 15. Kevin De Bruyne. He is high up the list. He is. He's getting some ratings. Yeah. He is a baller. I think he just did. I don't know if he got injured or had a bit of a bad season. Mm. But when he's on form, he's unbelievable. True. Number 14, Alexis Sanchez. Number 13, Buffon. We met him the other day. Yeah. Lovely guy. Lovely Massive. Guy. 12, Modric. Should he be higher? Well, oh. I don't know. Let's see who's coming. Let's see who's coming. All right, all right, all right. 11, De Gea. Is he going to be the top ranked keeper? Right now, well. We think he should be, don't we? Yeah. This is the last one, right? We're into the last 10 now. We're into the top 10 now. Let's go. Right, number 10. Higuain. I'm going to throw this out there. No. I'm not sure about that. I am not sure about that. I don't, nah. Top 10. I'm going to say it again Harry Kane, 53. It might be 52, it's, it's, it's one or the other. Is there a conspiracy going on? <sighs> that, don't, that don't ring true to me, that don't seem fair. What do you guys think? Should Higuain be number 10? Above Aguero? Nah. Is it Aguero? Nah. No, nah, there's something not right there. I, I, I agree with you, Jez. Yeah. That's not right. Nine, Cruz. Again? Nah, I'm not happy with that. When Modric is number 12, Tony Cruz needs to be number 13 or upwards. <laughs> Eight, Hazard. To be fair to him, I really rate him highly. I think yeah, he, when he's on top form, he's unplayable. Yeah, and if he played for a Barca or Real Madrid, I think you'd really see it even more. What do you guys think? Is that fair? Hazard number eight. Seven, Sergio. We do like Sergio Ramos. We, we do. do. We, we do. don't have a bad word to he's say about him. like a guilty pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your guilty pleasure to Sergio Ramos? We like you. <laughs> Most red cards ever for Real Madrid? Don't matter. We love him. Number six, Lewandowski. He... Bayern Munich players do so yeah, well. He, he scores he goals. He bangs goals for fun. But again, Harry Kane, Aguero. Yeah, I think he's better than him. I'll put him up there. I'd, I'd, I'd put him on number six. Five, Manuel Neuer. So, questions being answered. David De Gea, Neuer. He's number two, Neuer's number one. Yeah, now into the top four. Luis he's, Suarez. He's happy to be there. He looks comfortable there, seeing number four. He, he knows his place in society, Giza. He deserves it. Number three, Neymar. Again, fully deserved. We know the top two, but we don't know what order they're going to be in. This is the first time we've seen this. Who do you think is going to come out the top? I think Ronaldo is going to be top. Me too. He's had a blinder of a season. He's on the front cover of the game. Let's find out. 
We knew it. We knew it. It's a different tune. Give a Messi 89 pace. Ronaldo's got 90 pace. Yeah, give a Messi 95 dribbling and Ronaldo 90. I think that's actually fair. Mm. I think it looks, yeah. Defensively, that's where Messi's lost it here, really. Defensively. Yeah. Would, 26. Would Leo see that as fair? I think, I think it is. Does Ronaldo defend more than Messi? Yeah, I think he does a bit more. He wins headers, doesn't he, as well? Come back to the corners. Yeah, that's true. Shot, Ronaldo 93. Messi 90. Passing. That's the one thing I'll say about this, and you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Passing. Messi, I think his passing is the best in the world. And to give him only 86, if I was Messi, I'd look at that and think, you're not giving me credit where credit's due there. That's the only thing I'll say about it. So, Ronaldo is the number one rated player on FIFA 2018. What do you guys think? Do you think that's fair? Do you think he should be number one? What do you think about the whole top 100 list as a whole? Let us know in the comment section below and we're going to reply to as many as we can. I cannot wait to see what these no, guys are yeah. saying. You're going to kick off some debates, Jez. Yeah. You're kicking off some debates here, bro. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Love, peace and checkers. <laughs>